I'm, are you gonna make know. a dinner reservation? You're gonna go to you're gonna go to Davenport's. You're gonna, you're go, gonna go to Davenport's. Davenport's. Yeah. I don't know. Are you going to post whatever the fuck you get on the internet to let everybody see? That I usually got- don't. Yeah, I don't bullshit, want- bro. No, I usually bullshit. don't because I don't Your want people. Your whole life is on the internet. No. Because I <laughs> can't. Help falling in love with you. (laughs) Wow, what a rendition. What? No. (laughs) You gotta do like the... uh, That's not my favorite love song. What's your favorite love song? Mine's that L is for... Is that really because you... you Or you were just singing it? No, it is. (laughs) At me. O is for the only one. I see. That's your favorite, like, love me song? Oh, my God. Just let me know when you're done. <laughs> Extraordinary is even more than... <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's a really good one, because um, I think that's the one that they use on the parent trap, right? But that's not like... When you're saying love song, I'm thinking a little bit more sappy than... than that's like a little too, like, corny, uppity... I like that for a love song. What's your favorite? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was What's that? your favorite love song? I like that. <laughs> What's your favorite love song? I don't song? know. I don't have favorite love songs. Celine Dion, my heart will go on. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh my God. And see, this is why I don't even want to answer because every song I say, you're just going to do a fucking rendition of. <laughs> oh my God. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I forgot. That's like a dork thing that single girls do. Right? Isn't that what that is? I do Galentines. I like to celebrate my well, girls. Like apparently, you don't even need to be single to be a fucking <laughs> dork to celebrate that shit. Shut up. <laughs> um, you're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day. Dude, no. <laughs> we don't what do, are you do doing? that in my house. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Actually, no. Well, actually, what are we all doing? What are we doing? We're going to see Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey too. And if not, I'm probably going to go see a different movie, but... It, it, as long as it comes out on that day, Marley, I, Bob I'm, Marley, yeah, probably, yeah. But if it comes out, are we on doing that day, dinner? Um, are I, we going to do a group dinner? I don't think so. I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do separate dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I tell you know, we'll, just, we'll do the movie together. Why? You I want what? a separate dinner. Why? Hey, but you don't even like Valentine's Day. I don't, but I'm still. I'm still going to eat dinner. So you might as well do. It what with do the you friends. do? I feel, I feel like you got. I feel like you do like. The, you do the stereotypical like corny. No, we don't, go, we don't bullshit. go out. We don't like. I don't like to really go out because I feel like the reservations are always really booked up, and it's like it's just busy. Like I'd rather do the way that we've done Valentine's Day before was that like Nick cooked for me. I guess. Mm. I mean, he cooked. He got flowers. He got chocolates. I got him chocolates because the kid likes candy, and. Maybe a little gift card. And then the candy and flower thing, like the fl- the the heart and the and the, the heart chocolates. The heart chocolate. Yeah, they're good. I did they're not. I, I know, but like as a gift. Yeah. Which I better get one this year because I I and my mother used to get me one every year, and then uh-huh. when I turned thirty, she didn't get me one. I was like, "What the fuck is this shit all about?" So now she said she was going to get you one, or no? So she, and then after that, she's been getting them every year still. Like the, because you ripped your mom a new one. Yep. Yep. That's awful. You can't just end a tradition without telling me. She was like, we he's have to big, have a conversation. He's big enough. He's a big boy. He's no. he's. You're gonna be fine. You can go get your own chocolates. That's, that's probably what your mom was thinking. She was thinking that, but at the exactly. same time, it's like if you're gonna end a tradition, like I am with the, the gift giving thing at Christmas, which she apparently listened to that episode and was not happy about. Oh. Because I remember I said that she was so fucking difficult to buy for. <laughs> yes. She's like, no, I use every. I go, and even my sister knows she doesn't. <laughs> I'll protect you forever and always, Babs. Don't you worry. Whatever. Don't worry. What do you get for flowers? You get like like red roses? You get white? What do you do? No, Nick usually just gets me like a random bouquet. I I don't even really like roses because I feel like white roses aren't... The roses, the rose colors symbolize different things. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that. Okay, so like yellow is like a sympathy. A white is... Do you know what it is? A white? Yeah. I'm not sure. 
friendship white, or some two shit. Two white roses. Did you ever do that in school on no. Valentine's Day where no. like you could buy a rose or flower no. for anybody? No, 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 no. I thought you were going to say, remember in elementary school, you used to do like the the Valentine's cards and exchange them with people? Yeah. I brought it back senior year. I was like, I'm going to do this. Adorable. And I did. I gave everybody in my class a little. Adorable. Brought it back. <laughs> so cute. So white roses symbolize loyalty, purity, and innocence. You definitely shouldn't get anyone white roses. <laughs> That's like a diss. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Wait, what do the other ones mean? Uh, I'm never doing this. We we had a whole conversation about flowers. This is this is just not happening. Um, I mean, it's it's a really nice gesture. Like, why wouldn't you? Because what if the girl don't want them? Flowers? Yeah. What if she does and she just wants you to do it? What if she doesn't because she says she doesn't want them? But girls because are also, they die. But girls are also different. I don't like to have new flowers every single week, but like every once in a while, is like is kind of nice. I the quote unquote why don't ever buy me flowers and I and I wouldn't anyway I'm gonna buy you shit that you want not shit you do don't so buy. what are you gonna get I'm not gonna say it on here I don't know I don't know I didn't think about it yet <laughs> I know it's also it's not like second Christmas or your birthday it's a random fucking day but you're not gonna just get some like cheap shit are you I don't know I'm not I mean what do you get you get like fucking gifts like, like gift cards I think when your Nick got me like headphones this? or something is this the second Christmas yeah this is the day for the girl to get celebrated what about with a boy get celebrated I think I got Nick chocolates, maybe a little. You gift got card. Him you got gift cards, flowers, candy. He got a fucking bag of M and M's, and then maybe like a little gift card. So when when all right, so if Valentine's Day is for the girl, then what day is for the guy? None. That's the double standard. Father's Day. That's is, the, here we go. This is like your gender <laughs> here role you go, shit. Daddy. This is fucking. <laughs> this is such. That's a double standard. Father's Day. Yeah. What? Well, what does he get? Sock. He's not a dad. <laughs> He's a dad to the cat. <laughs> There's you knew no, this. no, there's you knew this. no, no, you there's, knew this. no, there's no fucking way. You knew this. Shut up. There's no <laughs> way that you guys are actually going to do this. I'm going to get him a little something from Duncan. Wait, 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 wait. Now you're talking about two different fucking things. You're going to get him a gift from the cat? Yeah, for Father's Day. For f He's not a dad. He didn't. He's you a, didn't birth a, a fucking feline. Right, but he's a pet dad. That's not real. That's not a real fucking thing. He's a real. Yeah. And so is he going to get you something for Mother's Day? I'd hope so, but we'll find oh, out. Oh my God, this is what's wrong with you people. All right, you get Red? a fuck. No, 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 no. You get a pet, and then you think that you're a parent. No, 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 no. Open the front door and see what happens. I'm telling you. Red roses mean love and passion. Red roses symbolize all things that make a love story great: passion, desire, no. true love, and romance. So, no. AKA. You gotta get a red roses. Okay. No. Um, orange roses. I've never seen orange roses. Have you? Oh no. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> so they symbolize energy and desire, and this um, is this is how you would do a food <laughs> review. <laughs> it represents fascinate, fascination, enthusiasm, desire, and energy. Mm, pass. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that. Give an orange rose bouquet to someone when you want to say I'm proud of you. Hmm. I'll just, you know, text you. Yellow ro <laughs> roses are for friendship and joy. Um, hmm. These blooms can be used to say a number of things such as remember me, good luck, or welcome back. So, a.k.a. if I ever give you a yellow rose, it's because I'm trying to tell you to remember me. Don't you ever. How, how could I forget? Don't ever forget me. How could I forget? Really? It, with your fucking <laughs> eye twitch. <laughs> Um, green roses are for growth and abundance. Never seen one. I don't think I've ever seen one either, but they're really pretty. No, it looks like, look it like, looks like a head of lettuce. It, it does look like, like a head of lettuce. It, that's the color of what my room used to look like. My. That's the color of every girl in high school, what her room, room mm, used to look mm, like. Mm, 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 mm. Blue roses, mystery and uniqueness. Okay. Um, How do they grow like this? Are they like artificially I think, flavored? I think they're artificially flavored. This is That's weird. Blue what about raspberry? Bl a black rose. Well, we'll get to that. Hold oh, on. Okay. How many fuck? How many are <laughs> there? This is like taking up the whole thing. Gift them to someone to say, "Reach for the stars or dream big." The pink or lavender actually is uh, wonder and enchantment. Um, the pink ones are for elegance and sweetness. 
Um, it's a great way to say thank you is with those kinds of roses. Okay. Peach roses. <laughs> This this sucks. This this episode sucks already. Sincerity and gratitude. Oh, black roses. Here we go. Yeah, all right. Change and courage. Mm-hmm. Um, while the color black has been used to signify death and mourning, making them a common choice for funerals, black roses can be a more positive. Uh, can be more positive as well. New beginnings, major changes, etc. Et white roses, young love and innocence. Hence, why when you get married, I guess white roses. Uh. And then there's ivory roses. Grace and Charm, mm-hmm. Rainbow Roses, a Spectrum of Vibrance, and that's it. That's the last rose. All right, thank God. That was that was too much. That was, I, that was actually more than what I thought it was going to be. That was a lot. I, I, but now you know. If you don't know, now you know. But here's the thing. I, I don't give a shit because I'm not doing that. I'm not just not going to do it. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I'm, are you going to make a re- dinner reservation? You're going to go to you going to go to Davenport's. You going to go, gonna go to Davenport's? Davenport's? Yeah. I don't know. Are you going to post whatever the fuck you get on the internet to let everybody see? That I usually got- don't. Yeah, I don't bullshit, want, bro. No, I usually bullshit. don't because I don't Your want people. Your whole life is on the internet. No, I don't want people to feel bad Look that they didn't get. Look at what my cat get. dad gave me. I don't want people to feel bad that you didn't get X, Y, Z from your boyfriend or if you're not in a relationship. That's why you would do it. I would not do it. <laughs> I did not post my Christmas gifts. Why would you? Everyone else fucking does. That's dumb. People who, do who, that. Who does this? I need names. That's the thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I need names. I don't have names. People, People just do it. People post what they got for Christmas? Like yeah. they're fucking five years old? Yes. There's they're no like, way. Oh Adults? my God, thank you so much. Yeah. Why like, don't you just say thank you to the person? Oh, like, I, this is, my, I can't wait to honey, get into this. My honey got me this pair of shoes. Look at the Look at your shit kickers <laughs> all over the fucking table. They're all dirty and shit. Gross. I stepped in the mud yesterday. Yeah, cool. Right on the fucking table. <laughs> Good thing we don't eat off this table. Well, maybe I do when you're not here. Do you? I might when I'm down here working. Oh, yeah, because I forgot you started to work down mm, here. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, God, no. This episode is sponsored by our friends over at Be a Nice Human. We don't agree on much on this podcast, but one thing we do agree on is our love for the Be a Nice Human brand. Their streetwear includes hoodies, beanies, t-shirts, socks, and more to choose from with the simple phrase, Be a Nice Human. Head over to BeANiceHuman.me and use the promo code HATETHAT. That's H, the number 8, T-H-A-T, for 10% off your order. And remember, you can still be a badass and be a nice human. No, 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 no. So people actually will, that's another thing that's going to come up too, just for Valentine's Day, whether they post their stupid fucking flowers or, or chocolates, whatever they get, right? They're going to be like, oh, I love you. Like, instead of just telling the person like, oh, I love you, blah, blah, blah. You have to put it on the internet for yes. like the other people to see. Not me, but yes. That's, that's psychotic like, it's behavior. Like, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. My, my like honey got me this pair of shoes that i really wanted or this bag oh my god they're so so nice they i love him so much but it's the same thing that girls do that with their ring right oh my god for my anniversary my honey got me this ring and it's so beautiful i mean it's kind of just what people do I, losers do that i don't do it you don't I don't do it. I didn't. I barely <laughs> even posted my engagement picture until I got to see you. Still and then I was though. like, "Surprise! I'm engaged." Still though, the people. And oh. I wasn't like, "Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with my ring! Thank you so much, baby. I love you." But you know what? The other thing is, people will shout out like their parents or something who's not even on social media. Happy birthday, Dad! <laughs> I do that every D- once in a while. And he's not on, why? He's not even on the fucking. He's not even on social media. I'll do like happy anniversary to my parents. You just like sometimes. Why? Why? Why does everybody need to know it? Because I think it's cute. But you got to tell everybody. No, but I'm sure my mom loves. My mom sees it, and she probably. Is, why don't you just text your mom? No, she's she likes because you're an oversharer though. She likes the she no she kind of like she doesn't like to admit it, but she like kind of likes the attention. Like for Valentine's Day, if Clearly my dad didn't come does. home with something, like my mom would be pissed. Like, he's done that where he's just like, oh, we'll just go out to dinner this weekend. And my mom was like, are you fucking shitting me? What, for Valentine's Day? Yeah. The guy's busy, all right? He's very busy. That's what I mean. Like, he yeah, but my mom's like, I'm I'm also very important in this. this she is very important. She's very important. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get as much love as in, love and attention as she needs. Uh, my mom's not very, like, this is why this, now you've seen both my parents. Like, my love language is like <clears throat> physical touch. I'm like, Joe, Joe, Yeah, but Joe. I didn't, I don't get that vibe from... I don't get that vibe from either of them, but I, I met your father like very briefly. Neither of them have physical touch. I mean, maybe she doesn't either. 
Maybe she does and she's just like turned it off because of my dad not being like that. But like yeah. my dad's sense of love language is 100% like gift giving. Um, okay. And then like. Like him giving gifts to people. Yeah. Like he loves. Yeah. That's the way he likes to show his love language. Oh, okay. So there's two different. There's yeah, a receive show. and a, a show. Yeah. Mm. The way he likes to receive it, I think, is it's not quality time. <laughs> it's not <laughs> physical touch. Words of affirmation. I don't think it's words of affirmation either. I don't know, he might be an acts of service receiving, guy. <laughs> receiving, I think he's an acts of service. I think he is. If I had to guess, I would probably put my money on acts of service for him. For my mom, it's probably quality time. I could see that. Yeah. My mom likes to like do things. Like she wants to like, my parents used to, before life got a little too crazy, but like my dad and her um, would go out to chomp and go order out of a burger and then go to India Point Park and go sit over there and like eat lunch and like look at the water over there. Like yeah. they would do stuff like that. <laughs> and I think what well, that's my mom's love language. Cause that either that or receiving gifts. And your dad's like, get me the fuck. Out of here. <laughs> I got shit to do. I, I, I got places he's to just go. Like, he's his thinking mind of spreadsheets is already, yeah, already. <laughs> his mind. I had to come up with a spreadsheet yesterday of all the wedding venues that we went to go see. And like the stats of the, the cost of the venue, the cost of the food per person of the food, just so that I could show that then to my dad this Wednesday. That's good though. That's good. And then it's easy. Then he sees it. It's broken down. It's not all fucking jumbled in somebody's head. Bam. He's a very spreadsheet numbers kind of guy. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Oh. <laughs> Makes one of us. You know how much I was like ripping my hair out yesterday being like, this is so much freaking work. It was a lot of work. I just had to do that for like taxes and shit. Oh, see, I got to yeah. I gotta start getting my paperwork together. Then I got to go to Coventry. Coventry. That's not. Yeah, because that's where I go. For my thing now, or whatever, West Warwick. West Warwick. Don't ever conflate West Warwick and Coventry, even though they're neighbors. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go out on Valentine's Day to West Warwick? You gonna go somewhere really hot and sexy in West Warwick? Oh yeah, the best restaurant on the spot. The best restaurant in What's West Warwick. What's the best restaurant in West Warwick? That's a great question. Non-existent. Fuck. Wow. Best restaurant. Like if you were a local. And you wanted to go out to eat on Valentine's Day. Where do you go? Where do you go in West Warwick? Fuck, I don't, I don't Olive know Garden. because that's Warwick. Oh yeah, that is considered more Warwick, huh? It's What's Warwick. in West Warwick? That's what I mean. Like that whole strip of Route Two is like Warwick, and then E.G. Excuse me, I'm trying to think. Actually, in West Warwick, I don't know. Kawisa it in. <laughs> I, I can't think of any other ones. Let me see. Restaurants. Restaurants in West War. Coisa Inn, <laughs> number one. Two, I don't know if any of these are actually it. Boomerang's Roadhouse. Okay, that is West Warwick. That's more of like a bar, though. Three, Caliente, West Warwick. Caliente. That's, Caliente is like the Bajas. Yeah, no, but I can't. I don't, I'm don't. trying to think of where the it's hell it Kawisa is. It's on Coisa Ave. Coisa. Okay. Coisa Ave. Um, mm. The Condesa in Warwick. Condesa. That's, uh, that's Warwick. Oh, it's very close to West Warwick, though. Wise Guys Deli, West Warwick. Okay, that's not really like a <laughs> <laughs> slim picket this subway. Is, this, I was gonna say, so now you know what we're working with. Uh, I don't now this these ones. I definitely don't know if they're Warwick or West Warwick, but I'm gonna guess. Uh, Koo, K H. All right, so I've heard good things about Koo. I haven't been. Koo has some decent reviews. Koo, Ferrucci's New York System. Wieners? I mean, you want to get a, some wieners in, in the dubs. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Want to go get wieners together? Hey, There's listen. nothing that says love like a nice wiener. I mean, that's, again, you can, is it only in Rhode Island can you say <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> Bill's Place Pizza? That's on the crawl route. Yeah, Bill's is all right. Bill's has a lot of good reviews. Bill's is all right. They renovated it. They redid it. Look at look at the faces. Cause you're so bougie. You want to go to like fucking Capitol Grill or if someone something. Someone brings me to a pizza place for 
freaking. But it's a thought that counts. Maybe, maybe. I'd rather you just make something at home for me. Or maybe they didn't have the ingredients and they're like, I want to just take you out somewhere, but I can't really afford to go to a nice place. I'd be like, let's have an in-home date. Let's make s'mores over a little fire. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe they're they're thinking like, I still want to take her out to dinner. And you're like going to sit there and fucking judge the place. I'm fucking dump. I'm so not bougie that I'd rather just like. Yo, you're so bougie. No. (laughs) PVD Pizza, West Warwick. Uh, yeah, the old All Stars and Mr. Taco. Taste of China. Mm. <laughs> Twisted Pizza, California Taco Shop. Yeah, these. I mean, these La are Casita. all like. These, these are all like little little joints. Fresco, West Warwick. What is that? Fresco. There's one in West Warwick. Coisa Ave, one fifteen. Really. Mm-hmm. Uh, that might be that might be your best bet if it's the that's same. That's probably your best bet because oh, they just it is. Made it's one up on the left. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's supposed to be a nice place. That's I've been to the one in Smithfield. I haven't been. Was that yet. the old, that was the old Blackies, right? Yeah, and I've this been the, the first one ever was in Cranston. Then they made this one. I still haven't been to the new Blackies since they moved. It's good. I like the new Blackies. Yeah. Ricotti's West Warwick. Ricotti, that's like a sub shop though. Yeah. A couple Domino's pizzas uh, options over on there. On the Roaches. On the rocks, and they are closed now. R.I.P. Are they? It still says open. No, they're closed. Rude. Yeah. House of Woo. House of Woo! See, that's a crawl staple. You know, if you guys actually showed up, you would have been there. Fooming. Fooming, yeah. Yay Express. Yee. 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 And that's about it. Yeah. A lot of Asian joints, I guess, in there. <sighs> yeah, you got some pickings in West Warwick. I mean, it's a small town guy. Relax. They're just not known for... I mean, they're not known for... <laughs> Well, it's like, okay, Gosh. put together the perfect date for Valentine's Day in West Warwick. In West Warwick. Oh, God. Yeah. So you basically just do the crawl, but in February. Okay. <laughs> so you start at Harris, yeah. which is technically in Coventry, I know. Weird. It's like a no-no. But whatever. You, you stop by the tree. You uh-huh. know, you say hello. Maybe you take a picture. Take a little selfie. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. And then you go to House of Woo. And you get a scorpion bowl. You get a, a poo-poo for two. Uh-huh. And then from there, oh. <laughs> and then from there, you mosey on up to L.A. Cafe, have yourself a, a drink or two. Yep. And then you go to our bar, you know, play okay. the jukebox. So what is the, what is, <laughs> what is the Valentine's Day go-to place non-West Warwick related? What's the idea? That I think or, date? or. Personal, yeah. Or that everybody would go to. For you, to. Like, per, like personal. What, what would be like. I don't know. Like, where would you want to be? Like, if someone were to take you somewhere, where where would be the place to be? Upstairs. <laughs> you have no food upstairs. You're shit out of luck. That's not true. You went grocery shopping? Uh, there's been more food in my in my house lately. Leftovers? No. You're cooking? Uh, Other people are cooking? <laughs> Some people are cooking. <laughs> not you? I mean. Breakfast sandwiches? Mm, lunch yeah. meals Even, mean? yeah there's some stuff in there now there's some stuff that you could pick at yeah. for sure yeah it's weird what's in there i, I kind of want to go look i'm a little excited <laughs> it's not the like fridge is usually modello and ketchup no and worries. coconut milk that's still in there try january there's no uh well there's probably some like non-alcoholics for a beer of the week but uh yeah no i i don't know i feel like everybody like back in the day the stereotypical joint was like cheesecake factory yeah that used to be the place to go I've never been you ever been to Cheesecake Factory? No, nobody ever took me. You want to go? No. You want to go? No. You're not missing out on too much. I've heard, yeah, that's what I've heard from people. I don't know why it's a staple, but. Because it has one of the biggest menus ever. Mm. Um, And then obviously the most variety of cheesecakes ever. Okay. I like a good cheesecake. Yeah. They, I mean, they have every variety. Like it's not just your normal and your strawberry. Like they have Oreo fudge cheesecake, yeah. chocolate caramel cheesecake, caramel, whatever, short, like yeah. literally maybe like 30 different chocolate rendition of cheesecakes. What's your go-to joint? If you had to pick Nick, he's got like a couple of days to put it together, put it together from when this uh comes out honestly i don't like i really don't want to go out i'd rather do stuff inside but if i had to go out it, it, yo i i don't even know why i asked 
Los Andes. As as you, what were we watching the other day? You were showing me something. It was like, oh, I like I like a variety of different. It's like your. Oh, it was my. Your, it was my the podcast. podcast yeah. And you <laughs> fucking, you're such a liar. You you go Los Andes or bust. I like other restaurants, but it's just like my go-to. Like, it's like a very easy, I don't, I know what I'm going to get. I know what I like. I know it's not anything that I'm going to be like, ooh, is it going to be good? Like, mm. it's just. Marchetti's is like that for me. That's what, exactly. What Marchetti's is for you, this is for me. Like, Marchetti's could be it for me, but I doubt they have gluten-free pasta. Like, it's like. No, because people don't want to eat cardboard fucking pasta Fuck off. like grow up and eat some pasta if i gave you my gluten free you wouldn't even know that you had it that's b- bullshit because we me you and skylar bats went to plant city different and, da, 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 and we had we had the spinach dip or whatever with different. and you you had the gluten free fucking bread and it was like different. a fucking cardboard what i make at home different different okay i like a i like it like a little side of gluten to dip yeah cheesecake factory Oreo Dream Cheesecake, mm. Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate ke- Cheesecake, Godiva mm. Chocolate Cheesecake, Adam's Peanut Butter Cup Fudge Ripple, <laughs> Cookie Dough Lover's Cheesecake, um, Celebration Cheesecake, which has like chocolate in it, um, Cinnabon Cinnamon Swirl Cheesecake, Salted Caramel Cheesecake, Toasted Marshmallow S'mores Galore, um, Dulce de Leche. I'm reading off things that I think you might like. You will not like the lemon raspberry. I will not. Um, Chocolate tuxedo cream, chocolate caramelicious cheesecake with Snickers, chocolate mousse cheesecake, Hershey's chocolate bar cheesecake, mm. 30th anniversary chocolate cake, che- chocolate cake cheesecake. I mean, they all sound, you guys have like one of each, please hold the lemon. Um, and that's it for cheesecakes, for chocolate. So you would rather not go out? You'd rather just have a... But there's nothing wrong with uh, uh, cooking at home. I just yeah, I like to like. I'd rather just like cook at home and like watch a movie together. Well, that's fine. I I to me the whole thing is just like a hallmark bullshit. Like it's just it's just like who gives a fuck about? Who's, but guess who's celebrating this year? Not me. Look, look at your face. Why? Because I'm going to the movies. You're celebrating. That's You're not, going out on Valentine's Day. Listen, You're celebrating. You are celebrating. You are because going I out. went to a movie. You are going out. It's just so ha- like I went to see Night Swim last week. Is that was that? A- You're going out on Valentine's Day. Well, the more you keep saying it, the more I'm just gonna stay, stay home that day. <laughs> Look at your spelling, fucking just do not. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. celebrating. <laughs> I the know. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> the end. I get that. I love that for me. Oh, you? Just, oh, you're just. <laughs> 26 right is that was that it no i just wanted to end any rebuttal that you have i mean if you want to call that celebrating it because they're going to a movie yeah fine on valentine's day if it was three days before what if i was going with like graham you're celebrating (laughs) broentine's day (laughs) it's not galentine's day galentine's day oh my god is that (laughs) Galentine's Day. <laughs> no. Why? Bro, bro in time. No, Day. because we're going out. We're just like we're gonna be. We're no. gonna be galing, like no. like happy. That's what it means. No. No. <laughs> two guys, two bros, just <laughs> galing out. <laughs> Galentine's no. Day. No. Bro in time's Day. Guy in time's Day. Bro in time's Day. Bro. Bro. Is that is that like bro. Yiddish? <laughs> Uh, Guy and Tyne's Day. You're, that's what you would be celebrating. But you're still celebrating. You're, you're going mean, out guess. and celebrating the friendship, I guess. And but it's like, it, that's not everything that you do that day is like, oh, because you're celebrating. You know what I mean? Like, Well, you're not going to work and you're like, I'm celebrating Valentine's Day by going into work. Like, that's not what, how it's What got stuck in your mouth right there during that rendition? <laughs> I was trying to go with an accent and it didn't work. <laughs> but it's like, you're not, it's not like you're celebrating by going to work. <laughs> but you are celebrating if you're going out working. for dinner, if you're going out for a movie, if you're going out bowling, if you're going, if you're doing an activity. Stop being stubborn. I'm f- I, Lose it. I'm saying if Drop you. Drop it. If you want Drop to it. say that that is celebrating, that's fine. But yes. like I, the, what I'm going to say is the stereotypical like the the heart chocolate and, and flower. It's not, that's not happening. It's not, it's not for you. That's not for me, but it's also not for But it's for not her. about you. She doesn't want this. 
What if she's playing the mind game? She's not. She's straightforward. What if she's like, no bullshit here. I'm going to say that I don't want it, but I secretly hope that every once in a while he'll get me like one. What? One what? Like once a year. Get one me what? a flower bundle. Bouquet. She doesn't want. It's, just, it's not something that she likes. I don't know what you else I can say. But do you know that? Yes, because she has told me specifically. But what if she's like hoping that you still do at least once? Like, I don't like getting flowers because it just dies. But like, once a year is cool. Like on our anniversary or something. It would only at this point what it would be years? a gag, and we would both laugh at it because it, it would be like intentionally funny. It's like you've met your match, man. I, I, she doesn't it's want fucking perfect. She doesn't want it. She does not want that shit. But I, I do think that there's things that she probably wouldn't tell you that she wants, but she doesn't tell you that she wants it, but she really does want it. Mm, maybe, but we have like this weird thing where like we just kind of like, like communicate shit. So it's like, yeah, so weird. It's weird. You know, so strange. She's like you're, you know, something's not, you know, jiving, jiving. You, we just kind of say it. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, a weird new world. <laughs> fucking weird. Concept. New world order, right? There. I know what you're saying, though. Where you could be like, "Oh no, I don't want that," but like secretly you do. Yeah, I don't think that that's the case with this. Okay, I'll but talk I know to what you're saying. But I'll it's get like, her drunk and find out. I, 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 I'm coming for you. I will guarantee that will be the the response her, will be. I'm her biggest advocate. You like you, you like you want her to want something she doesn't want. No, I want her to. I want her to get all the things she does want. That's fine, but you you're like advocating no, to get her say, something. You want me to get her something she does not want. No, I want. That's what you're her saying to, right now with the I flowers. Said, I'm saying I will find out what she does want to make sure you get what she does want because I don't want worry, her to get listen, everything she wants. I don't need other people to stick their nose in my business. Don't worry about it. I'm I'll, not sticking I'll, my I'll, nose. I'll figure it out. I fucking love her. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. I don't need other people her. meddling. I fucking love her. <laughs> I'm going to find out. This is why This is why I don't tell people shit. I was the first one to, to like conversate with her. I know, because I couldn't avoid it. Because I was were... here weekly. But now we batch these, so I'll never know what's going on. Because I won't <laughs> see you for like two weeks at a time. And then I'm like, oh, hey, yeah. That's true. I know. But I still FaceTime you like regularly. Yeah. We used to FaceTime like every single day, but now it's like an well, every other day. Not even every other day. Is barely. it like a couple times a week? I don't know. I feel like it's falling off. <gasps> I gotta make my comeback. I think holidays I th- and I th- shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think Nick calls you more than I do at this point. I know he called he. I tell you this, that kid, I, that poor kid. He poor called Nicholas. you, and then you texted him, and you're like, "I'll, I'll call, call you." Because he called me. He was like, "Are you? Are you fucking kidding me? He didn't pick up again." I go, "I don't know, Nick." I there's. And this isn't on purpose, but there's nobody that has a worse time timing of calling me than Nick. So I was just starting a workout the other night and he called me. I was like, what the? Because I couldn't do the conversation. The I was is, like, he gets fuck. so like, he doesn't get like butt hurt, butt hurt, but there's a part of him that like, like dies a little on the inside because he's like, he'll be like, <laughs> that's why I texted him because I was like, I can't even leave him. There. He'll be like, where's, jo- where's Joe? And I'm like, I don't know. He's like, I want to call Joe. And I go, okay, call Joe. <laughs> Calls Joe. He goes. You think he's not gonna pick up? I'm like, I'm not sure. Calls, and it goes through, and he's like, he's not, he's not. And you just see it die in his face. He's like, he's not picking up. And I was like, but I did. I, I had to text like, him because I know he always, he always calls me. He's his timing. Unfortunately, is just my Impeccable. timing is usually not not good either. But I was just starting, and I'm like, fuck, I can't even answer this right now. And I Poor know. Kiddo. <laughs> He just wants a little. But I, did, I hit him he back He wants to though. be your Valentine's Day date. That's what he wants. Well, we're, to all, be. we're all gonna go see a, f- a film, but potentially. So. Blood and honey, and if you want to know anything about that, watch the episode right before this one. Bam, where we talk about blood and honey. Yes. And how excited we are to go see it. I can't wait. I love that for us. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I. If you jab my finger the way that you jabbed your own finger, <laughs> oh. I'm still fucking I love that for me. I I honestly this whole topic I hated for me. <laughs> I fucking hated all, all of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> hated it. 